Ten years ago, an eight-storey clothing factory in Bangladesh collapsed, killing more than 1,100 people and injuring more than 2,500 others. The Rana Plaza tragedy was seen as a massive wake-up call about unsafe conditions faced by garment workers. Now the charity Oxfam is calling on brands to do more. Naeem Emran, Oxfam Australia's economic justice strategic lead, joins us now. Thanks so much for coming in, Naeem. Um, Good morning. It does Good feel morning. like, I can't quite believe it's been 10 years since it, since it happened. It does feel like yesterday. Just broadly speaking, have conditions improved for garment workers in Bangladesh? Um, in terms, of, it's about 10 years and some progress has been made so far, particularly through Accord, which is an international initiative to inspect the factory buildings. But not necessarily all the brands have joined this initiative. So there is a lot yet to be done to ensure that the workers who are working in the factories are in safe conditions. And more importantly, the wage that they're getting are so low that they're not being able to meet the basic needs. And at times, they're forced to work in dangerous factories. So despite some progress being made, there's still a long way to go. And now you're uh, looking at the survey here of, of shoppers in Australia. What, what did it find when people uh, go to buy clothes uh, and perhaps think about the effect, of, uh, the effect of bad working conditions on garment workers? Yes, we conducted a survey just to understand the behaviour of the consumers and it is interesting to see that about close to 90% of the respondent, they believe that the safety is an important consideration when they're making a buying decision. About 60% actively look for um, ethical factors when they make a decision. They are both, both very big figures, aren't they? They are big figures. Which surprised me. And interestingly, the, most of these respondents who responded in such a way are the young um, generation who are mm. coming through. So the, they will dominate, become major consumers in the future. So the brand needs to take the responsibility and really respond to this concern, making sure that their supply chain is safe and there is no human right abuses happening. And we're seeing more transparency in that as well? Um, not more, a little bit transparency, but there's a lot to do in terms of transparency and accountability from the brand side. We still don't know where the fabrics are being made. We still don't know at times where the cottons are being uh, made. So we have seen incidents in China uh, that happened a few years back. So there's a lot to do on transparency itself. OK, uh, so generally speaking, what would you like the brands to do, the clothing manufacturers, when it comes to the Australian market? Um, the first and most importantly, uh, they need to make sure that um, the, their supply chain, there's no human right abuses happening. So they need to make sure that they can identify they can prevent and mitigate any abuse happening. To do so, they need to be more transparent. They need to make sure that the wages that the workers are getting can meet the basic needs. Still, the wage that they're getting are not enough to meet the very basic. We're talking about the very basic. So those are the basics that brands need to ensure that they're doing. Just going back to Rana Plaza, Naeem, you were actually at the scene. You went there not long after it happened, is that right? Yes, I was at the site about uh, within an hour and a half of the incident that happened. I was in Bangladesh at that point in time. Right. It was, um, it's still traumatising for me um, to, to see what was happening at that point in time. More than 1,000 um, people lost their life, most of them were women. Um, the more than 2,500 injured, some of them are still facing trauma. I've met them uh, when I went to Bangladesh. So it's, it was a very tragic uh, incident um, and that's the biggest uh, fact, government factory collapse that has happened in, in, in the world, in mm. fact. And you would have hoped there'd be more change by now, I imagine. Absolutely. There's a long, long way to go. And we are only talking about Bangladesh, but the government is made all over the world. Bangladesh is just one country. Yeah. So the unsafe condition happens um, across the world. Look, thank you very much for coming in and speaking to us about it, Naeem, and hopefully we see more improvements in this area.